are Let's the do it. challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Entering this era as the Egyptians then? No prizes for guessing how you plan to leave your mark. Bit sassy. All right, nice. So, town is still building there. These guys will get upgraded into scouts, which is all right. Um, apparently we're losing money. Ah, nice, they did do that, okay. I was thinking that one thing they should definitely do is make it so that your scouts cost uh, upkeep, because otherwise you can have like 20 scouts at this point in the game and it's like really OP. Um, Okay, this guy's got increased combat strength. So what we kind of need to do, I guess, is disband these guys. I think we can do that. Was I supposed to do this just before we entered the new era, potentially? I think maybe I was. Twenty three production. Jesus. Off we go. Let's go. Yeah, it's actually happening, man. Um Do I even care about this territory? Because we don't have like infinite influence, so we should pick the best places. Um, how much will this cost? 60. Maybe not then. Come over here. Okay, so we get to turn, I guess we want to turn this into our capital. Um, it doesn't really matter, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, look at this. And then we'll be able to start building stuff. We could also connect this. Um, yeah, let's do it, I think. A first city constructed. Walls, roofs, an outhouse. Ah, the luxuries of civilization. So, this is our city now. Three science, three gold, six influence, three food, six production. Now we can build any of this stuff. Um, I think we just go straight for this. I do want to build this, but so this gets a bigger bonus per adjacent maker score than this one, which only gets one. So I reckon... We build a normal one here, and then a special one here, and then we can surround it with maker scores. Something like that. 
because we're not going to be able to build a make us make us quarters here because it's got a uh, luxury resource on it. We also have stability, which we're fine on. It wants me to build it there. I could do that. I could just build the Egyptian one there and then I could build Maker's Quarters, like, on all of these places, actually. We would get rid of two of our food if we do that. Okay, I'm just going to go this way. As I thought, and potentially it will be cheaper to make an outpost now, actually, because we just kind of reduce the number of outposts that we have. Okay, killing a deer might be smart. Can I get there? I can. Interesting. So this is somebody's outpost, but they're not actually defending it. So what if I just kill it? Then what? No fear. I think they can reach, although they might have to go through the mammoths, I guess. Why has this guy got no movement? because he retreated all right well clearly we need to have a fucking full army otherwise they're just going to be waste men so let's fucking fight them uh, and this guy i mean a city in this place might not be bad right quite a few resources Hmm. I'm gonna check out around here. They upgrade makers uh, market quarters. We don't care about them. These guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It is. It is better to just stay in the lift, you know. One thing, I thought you can disband your units, right? Like, you can put them into a city. Am I wrong about that? Ah, you can. Okay. So, I suppose we should do that, because they're actually costing quite a bit of upkeep. What is our population? Where does it say it? <laughs> do we just have zero population here? We do. We've got zero population. <laughs> so normally you can work some of these. Uh, you get to work any of the specialist slots, but you do need population. If we include this city in, though, this one's got good food, so it should work out. Um... We'll disband later, I suppose. Wow. That's quite a city, isn't it? There's still stuff to find as well, like there's new stuff on the ground now instead of food. So let's not disband yet. We can handle this cost anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got no food here, but it's cool. You don't actually need population. It's one of the kind of ridiculous things, because even though we have no population, we have 23 production anyway, just from the tiles that we're on. And then when we build these districts, you don't have to work them either. Like, they, you just automatically get the production from them. 
I did think we'd have slightly better science. Um, plus one industry on forest or woodlands. Plus five food per horse. I think we want the calendar because we want to build artisans' quarters. And a granary might be good as well. Since we probably need food to grow our cities. Oh yeah, let's chat to these guys and let's look at the Greetings. things. I am called hot blooded, short tempered, passionate. All the highest compliments. As long as we are honest and fair, we can do mighty things. I mean we've already had like two battles, but yeah, cool. Yeah, so you can basically, you can attack each other as long as it's not within their borders. Okay. War support. I always thought it was a cool idea to have like, yeah, I think war support is a reasonable thing trade is really fucking good um oh we can yeah we can propose like being allowed to trade stuff and whatever i guess we'll propose it do something clever today sign this treaty nice a request from a friend is not a thing to be taken lightly. We are friends. Pay a hundred gold. <laughs> but I have no idea, like, are they likely to accept this? I tell you what, we'll, maybe we'll try and kill their army and then we'll ask them to repay because we've got 10 turns to, to do that. I feel like the diplomacy may be one of those systems where it's essentially just like a roll of a dice, whether they accept or not. But we'll see. Okay, that guy's only got two movement. Oh, fuck's sake, bro. Oh, I was pushing that thing, to be fair. Oh, I think this guy might die. I hope he's well hidden there. Where are these stupid green guys, then? That's what I thought, mate. Yeah, you better run. What does this do then? Coffee. One food per farmer. Okay. They have monopoly bonuses as well. Very interesting. Yeah, we can get money for killing animals and ransacking stuff now. I thought it would be cheaper now. I don't understand how the cost of stuff works on this game. <laughs> There's like some formula to it, but it was 60 a moment ago. I should have fucking built it then. I didn't know it was going to increase in cost.
Okay. So. Yes, we have a choice here. Plus three faith or plus five influence on main plaza. Basically a monument or a shrine choice. The other thing though is that like if you get So also you get bonuses for being like within these particular sections. So if we move I don't know exactly oh I guess we would be in the plus two faith. Right, right, okay. I thought there was something where, like, it depends on the amount of cities and stuff you have as well. Oh, like, one thing about this game, I do like quite a few of the concepts in it, but they kind of market it as, like, a journey sort of game. But to me, it feels, like, super fucking mathsy. Like, there's bare, like, formulas in everything that you will get fucked over if you don't, like follow it in the correct way where stuff will just suddenly cost like a ridiculous amount uh, I guess we'll go for faith I don't even know if faith is good I think faith would be a good way of getting food from what I remember having said that this would also be real nice but no we'll go with faith it seems so if the gods hadn't chosen us, somebody else would be standing here. And we can choose this as well. Ah, interesting. So we can go for this will take us further this way or this will take us back to the middle. Uh, we'll chill on this one and maybe. Maybe I will take the create outpost one. We'll see. Over this way. Come over here. Let's go. Alright, cool. Yeah, like, that's kind of what I mean, that it feels like They won't see me. <laughs> oh, they still have. They still only have tribes people. If this guy just had full health, he actually maybe could have done a madness, but. He tried. They got 10 food. They fucking ate him, dude. Brutal. Okay, let's find. Looking for this green idiot. I could also try and go over there. Teach him a lesson. to be here. Let's kill a mammoth instead. Hmm. 
We'll do this for adjacency. I don't think there's any way you can get up the hill. Kind of what I mean is that it doesn't really feel like it feels like a game that is way more like suited towards like ultra tryharding it rather than just like doing whatever you fancy doing. But that is kind of just my approach to all games, so I'm probably biased in that sense. Alright, we can pillage this layer, I can't remember how much it will actually give, but 10 gold, we'll take it. Oh, maybe I should be outposting over here, 74 is not bad. So this place is done, now we can spend 30 to actually attach it which I think is a decent price though I just need to decide whether I want to take this I'm going to go with this one I think because we want to keep the faith going cheaper outposts will be nice that seems to leave a lot of interpretation of right and wrong, not to mention yours and mine. Yeah, that is that is my sense of the game, like I don't know though, because that's obviously, like I said, that is like just generally going to be my approach. Because yeah. I'll actually be annoyed if I don't like win and stuff. Other people maybe don't care, but like, yeah, it just feels like a lot of. There's a ridiculous amount of like maths formulas for everything in this game that are not like kind of obvious. Like, say in Civ tech and culture they go up throughout the game that's pretty obvious and then it's like the more cities you have it goes up by five or seven percent it used to be but like it's pretty transparent what's going on so you know that you just need to make more science and more culture throughout the game whereas this one it's like the culture cost is dependent on era times amount of cities you have divided by something else so sometimes you're like what this costs like a million but last time it costed a thousand like what the hell just happened so yeah and similar with like the district costs and like production and stuff in your cities the same kind of thing happens we could actually finish this now. I guess that's worth, because then we'll get the production. I don't know exactly how it works when, if stuff finishes, do you also get the production for it? Okay, I'm going to build it here, even though it's slightly less production right now. Well, what if I built that? No. Let's do this here. Still don't have enough to build this. They aren't actually good resources here. We could just leave this area. 
settle around here. Technically, they can't get to it. So we can just settle this area later on, I suppose. I think that makes some logical sense. And I think we should just, oh, we should, we'll wait for one more pop, actually, I think. Because then we'll, when we uh, attach it, we'll get a bonus pop. I just think you get penalized for not knowing mechanics. <laughs> stuff like, yeah, stuff like this with uh, attaching a city before it's reached one pop. I just feel like there's a lot of things like that. 30% on unit industry cost. Hmm. Well, we want to be on this side, don't we? Because we want to get influence. Rob, I don't think vision really matters. 29. Oh, shit. I, what? They, how did they juke my other army? Fuck it, you can retreat. What now, mate? We're not allowed to reinforce armies yet. You need like a special tech for that. He's just gonna defend. The people are smarter than the animals, so they don't just attack you. Although what we can actually do well, we do want to kill him, really, but... We can force him to attack us, actually, by taking this. So, because we're attacking, we'll win. If we own that. I don't want to let him get uphill. So let's stand like this, I suppose. I think he'll attack us attack us like a fool okay let's go ahead like this twenty five damage I think we should kill him, because otherwise he'll retreat. But it was still good that we forced him to attack us, because it means that we took less damage. Yeah, what now, mate? What do you think of that? Ooh. Hello. You think it's cool to, like... Kill tribes people and eat them, do you? He should... Oh no, they can re retreat four actually, can't they? Well, let's chase him. What are you saying over here then? Hmm. Thirty-seven... Shit, I never even... I should have taken... We should go for this. It does seem logical that people shouldn't have to do a job... I think I'm just going to go and search this area, actually. Over this way. Yes. Copper is really good. Go. I think. Come over here. Ah, let's have a city in here somewhere. Yeah. Follow me. Let's go. go. Over this way. Uh, we can get 
it up the hill, I think. Off we go. How much difference does being up here actually make? I forgot the exact amount. Four or combat strength. Wow. All right, we'll just attack him because he could get up the hill. Decent. I'm gonna wait one more turn actually, just so that, because uh, it will, I guess, cost more to grow when we're at next pop. Actually, no, it doesn't work like that. It's different to Civ. But I also may want to build an outpost over here. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll save. Our influence, I think. Ooh, we got to religion already. So. We just kind of pick whatever's better. So main plaza is like, this is the main plaza because it's a city centre. But the way it works is that you attach cities. It's much cheaper to attach cities rather than if we wanted to build a new city, 160. So instead we'll attach this one and then um, Yeah. That will be an administ administrative centre. So in the end, we will have more faith from this. But probably it's better to just get the faith quickly. Because it is the same as Civ, where there's a race. And it's not going to be for a while until we would have four territories in a city, I think. You can build holy sites as well. Alright, we're going to like max out our production and then build holy sites. Well, we can build whatever we want after that. We have to work a farmer, it seems. As great as this place is, I'm pretty sure you can't build maker's quarters on mountains. So... All right. Potentially it's actually not the most amazing thing. These guys still, they're still a flipping tribe. The other guys can't actually reinforce, so. Alright. 
it kind of works, although. Now we're kind of weak here. I guess I need to heal my guys. I think we do that in our territory. Or I could just chase this guy. And then we can pillage some layers as well. Hmm. What am I going to do about settling? So there's like different areas. So you settle, you can settle like one city in each area. So we could have a city here. We could settle up here, I suppose. This is a massive territory. There's no resources in it. Resources are pretty good. I mean, if we owned both territories, we could, like, build districts across the gap. So maybe, like, in here. It should be very defensible as well. Get the copper. Probably makes the most sense. Just attach this though. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. See, like this just suddenly went up in price. <laughs> but, but, but why? <laughs> like, how would you expect that to happen? I don't know, did this go off as well? I suppose it did. Uh, I might go for science. We'll have one farmer. One science. I think that's fair. Oh crap, I wanted to run away here. Or did I? Did I actually want to join up? Perhaps that's what I wanted to do. I mean, they're still a crappy tribe, so... That's not going to be a fun fight, though, because they're uphill. Alright, we'll just chill. Go and smash this guy. He's just gonna run away though. the full territory though we'll settle this city as soon as we have the influence ah well, nice we got that tech as well so I think what we want is bronze working so that we can work copper because copper is pretty good masonry is nice too actually because we're going to be, I think most of what we're working is like stone fields and stuff. Rocky field, rocky field. Some prairies.
Well, the forge is really good though, isn't it? Go on, let's have that one. Chance of terrible fuck. I mean, uh, we can't afford them. Can I get some money by killing something? I don't want terrible consequences. What I do want to do actually is explore a bit here. Okay. Have a seat. Oh yeah, have, have they got glass. anything to trade yet? Let's no. Fuck. I mean, I could try and do this battle. I don't know that we would get it done in time anyway, though. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, well, I guess we'll do that then. I just need to see which thing, like, what way do we actually want to go on these? Plus five percent industry, plus five percent money. So we do want to go that way. Industry is way better than money, I think. Um, and combat strength is probably better than food. Influence is better than detection. And for now, so we basically want to go left on all of them. I think quite a few of them, like you may sometimes want to go right at the end and left at the beginning. So that's one right. Chance of good consequences, though. That's one left there. That's one right there. As in actual good. Yo, man, uh, we'll see. I, I've played it before, and um, I did really like it, but then I got to a certain point in the game and I felt like it just wasn't at all balanced and it kind of ruined it for me. So we'll see if that's still the case, because they may have actually changed it since then. Um, I like a lot of the concepts. I like the army battles, um, although they do get a little bit tedious, but you can also resolve them as well. It's less tedious than Civ, probably. Um, I kind of like the start, although it's you have constructed probably a first could do with an improvement. Water. It's a symbol of power and a lasting memory of this era. Go ahead, be smug. I like the way it looks and I like the music as well. Can say that balance is basically the only thing bro did i just get debated my cities are losing stability stability isn't too bad mm, okay okay we will have to deal with it eventually then Which we should be able to do. We could build this. Artisan score is probably what we want. Money on main plaza. Money on administrative center. Yeah. Or stability per marble as well. And T. 2% food. That's not that great. But okay. Uh, let's get this. We're already kind of working it, so it's not actually as good as it says. But we'll get the resource, which will give a nice bonus. 
Man, these are some shit resources we've got around us, actually. Am I allowed to attack him from there? <laughs> Does that count as outside his territory? I really want to go and kill this guy. Because he still hasn't upgraded. My guys are quite weak though. Sneak around, interesting. Go on then. He'll have to attack us then. But we may lose our entire army. stuff. That's a lot of money actually. So yeah, from this city we can actually now build stuff like in this city instead. Um, like so it's all basically part of the same city now. Don't know if it really makes any difference like where the capital of each kind of city is. Where should I go with my Egyptian thing? I suppose like in here or something. I'll try and get there. And you... What is this, dear? Lock him up. Ooh, a thing to look at as well. can build that uh, outpost next turn. I fucking kind of thought he might do that. I'm gonna fuck him up, dude. I'm gonna fuck him up. I'm gonna pillage his shit and then build my own. Ooh, wow. 40 influence and 15 science. That is quite a lot. Go on, lads. Uh, I mean, do I actually need... Can this guy get here? Nah. Yeah, she might not be bad to build something there. Market quarters are so useless, honestly. Food per farmers could be okay. Can I kill this guy? I mean, don't I have like... I thought I have plus one... I have plus one attack. 
or like plus one combat strength, but I assume that's already in the combat strength here. We're kind of attacking downhill if he wants to defend. He's going to heal, so let's go. Nine turns. Nine turns is a bit too long. So I guess I do need to bring this guy over. Well, I already moved him now. Tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> this guy is going to take four turns as well. I could build a unit. Just like one dude to go around smacking. That would be kind of a dick move, wouldn't it? Go and settle right here. <laughs> I kind of like that though, actually. I kind of like that. Kind of like that a lot. But I bet he won't have the balls to come and fuck with it. Could just settle like here as well. We All right, let's get involved. Okay, I'm gonna go for bronze working. I'm hoping that pillaging, yeah, pillaging it means that he can't actually build it. They don't like me, I can understand that somewhat. Tell you what I probably need is horses as well, but they're there. They have a certain appeal, the Olmecs. Be careful that your people don't start liking the neighbours more than you. Interesting. So they just became a proper people. So why have they not made this a city? My people and from myself heartfelt greetings let us see if we can build do something clever today have a seat have a glass let's get to know each other um. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I could go for that. Why can't I do this? We've been going nowhere. Shall we try forward? This from you? I really, you used to be able to, I remember, because I would be raiding people and then they would make it and I would get super mad. I 
kind of need a city just so I can heal. Five twenty. All right, there is reasonable actually, isn't it? Though I want this city over here. Probably a really dumb place to build it, isn't it? We'll see. Fuck it. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Oh, nice. We got bounty for for that. I guess that's because of that money we spent. Can build something here. All a bit of shit actually. Um, plus two food per farmer. Science, I think. I think I want influence. I was wondering if they were going to be smart enough to uh, <laughs> group up their units. They're not. Well, that's good. Um, I think they have to attack up this hill, right? do decide to take this we should be able to kill them I don't think they can get around straight away oh this isn't even a hill fuck it Really? <laughs> okay. Kind of have to do the same thing, to be honest. I suppose I can stand there actually. Follow me. This is the most healthy guy. But now we can actually like. Smack him from above. Let's do this first. Up we go. Go. OK. 
Kill it. You can do it. Ooh, okay. Well, they have to attack me, right? So, as long as I don't fuck this up, they're screwed. They have to attack up the hill. Come over here. Go on then. Bring it. Get there in the end. Yeah, we'll join this guy. <laughs> and here too. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Fucking chill. Especially attacking three guys with one. You just lost 1v1 anyway. So I think here they'll have to be on the river, I guess. Um... I could stand here and then they would potentially go down there and then we could attack them. Might not be too bad actually. But also we could just do this. seems to work to be honest checked what uh, what we had to do this era so three territories okay kill 12 military units four techs 550 money okay 600 influence 12 population we're nearly at six districts we should get there easily so we need to get seven of these and then we can get into the next era we probably will rush to the next era i guess i'm not sure there's any reason to wait with eras but we'll see um okay plus two food per farmers it's kind of reasonable To be honest, um, city stability is fine. Might be time. Go and build like a. Go and build one of them like over there or something. We do have reduction in uh, Yeah, but isn't it like Well you just wanna take the best culture though, don't you? Like um So that you get the most bonuses. Like in the end you have to reach some quite high stuff anyway like my game before I was like I had basically finished the game but I was only halfway through the turn amount and there was one of the era things that I was never going to hit it was like the 
influence one i was never going to have enough influence because i didn't have any way of getting it really but everything else like science and production was like done oh shit there's like wonders as well forgot about those where do they get shown I feel like it was somewhere over here, right? Next to the city. What that? Ah, here. Got it. So, I think you basically, you need, what, 200 influence or something to unlock them? Don't know why it's not saying. I can't remember if any of them are actually good. I feel like one of them is good. Um... Oh, pyramids. Hell yeah, that would be sick. So we could save up for that. But we're kind of trying to be super expansionists <laughs> right now. Okay. 250. Nice, nice. So tell me, What's going on how then? are you today? This one? This one will cost you dearly. I am watching you closely. Okay, don't quite understand this. What about these guys? I would not put myself in this position if I feared the consequences. Let's go for this one. Give up territory or get buried under it. You make me angry enough to burst into flame. So they didn't do that? <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, interesting. Yeah, okay. 5000 BC, wow. Still a lot of time to build a civilization. Ah, this is an independent peoples or mercenaries. I hope that doesn't mean that they've been employed by that guy. Independent peoples are kind of interesting, actually. All right, let's just carry on, I guess. Nice, we put this shit. Oh, I did want to run away. Oh, the fucking mercenary. Are you kidding me? What do these give then? <laughs> do you know what? I should probably just do this. This is actually a pretty good territory. What if I build it and then I can move it, right? Because you can move your... Your outposts and stuff. There's like a move button. But 
Bloody independent peoples everywhere. I think I just build it. And then move it. I reckon that's smart. Oh, we're going to get this thing as well. Nice. Now we can actually heal this guy as well. Beautiful. These guys also healing. Let's have a little look up there. Should make this quicker. Three turns are still kind of long. We'll see though. Oh, we just got out of bloody that's fine superstitious oh, I do want to have more faith but I think we'll just take the stability Stability is okay, and we could make it better if we wanted to. Stability is basically happiness. I, guess, I don't know if it's... I guess it's better to have, like, above 90, but... Yeah, we can, like, get more stability by connecting the luxuries. That kind of stuff. I'm already angry. Do not drive me to violence. Why can I not trade? I want to. Fairness must be restored, else action must be taken. I hope they don't just come and pillage my shit. That would kind of suck. Over this way. Nice, they fucked off. Good to see, good to see. Should we go and be absolute bastards over here? 